put your fingers on your throat then, you felt when you sang a little tingle in your fingers. Like, <coughs> well, you don't need to do it again, does it? <laughs> you feel that tingle in your fingers. That's because the sound is caused. <coughs> Sound is caused by a vibration. All sounds are caused by, by a vibration. I will look at the year four girls who are helping us to show us their percussion skills. Can you help me to show you what happens? When you make a vibration like a guitar string or a drum or the air in the recorder, it makes a certain shape. Okay, it makes a wave shape, and this looks like a big M. All sounds make this wave shape. John, in the corner of that, has been recording people making sounds today, saying things. Okay, so whenever you say something, you make a sound, it makes this wave shape. John has a computer and some equipment that can change that sound. Okay, so John, could you give us an example of somebody uh, speaking earlier? It's all about the people. It's all about the people. Okay, so that's Ben. Ben saying it's all about the people. And that's what Ben saying it's all about the people looks like. But if we stretch the sound, and it keeps about the same shape, but it's going to change a little bit, and we can hear what John's done to that. It's all about the people. Okay, so you can, you can hear that that sound has changed, and it's because John has a computer program that allows him to change the shape of it. Similarly, if we squash it up, we're going to squash it all up, and we can listen to how that sound has changed now that we've squashed it all up. So we've been very lucky. Thank you, girls. We've been very lucky to have George and all these magnificent musicians. Um, I'd like to give them a big round of applause. That was a fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 